The nice thing about being able to use the flipped classroom model is that we can have more advanced students look at uh, longer explanations from college professors and we can have students that uh, need a little bit more background information able to identify some of the shorter videos that do provide them that background information and then eventually they can work their way up to some of the longer videos that are more in-depth uh, or that are uh, stretch videos for above grade level. It's pretty nice just because you can go home and on your free time do this time and whatever. One of the advantages that we see is that there is a wealth already and an ever-growing bank of videos that are available. One of uh, the other big advantages we have to the flipped classroom model is that students can identify, as long as it's within a topic, they can identify a speaker or a situation or a particular nuance to an issue. For example, for the Cold War, if a student is interested in looking at the political or economic or geographic or social aspects of it, chances are there's a video we can use to target that student's specific interest in the Cold War. And then when we come back together as a class, it provides a rich and diverse look at uh, these complicated topics. So the station rotation we're doing today is students are exploring uh, different areas of inequality, specifically equality of gender, equality of race, and equality of wealth in America, to try to answer the question as to why we have these inequalities in our society. And what they're being allowed to do is explore each of these areas on their own, at their own pace, uh, using a variety of resources that have been provided, but also the freedom to dig deeper and go beyond the resources that have been provided. The hope is that they will come out of this with a general understanding of all three areas, but a specific area that they'd like to target as their choice for exploring deeper to try to answer that bigger question. Uh, so this table is the inequality of wealth, this table is the inequality of race, and the furthest table is the inequality of gender. And we're watching videos and reading different articles and talking about it with each other to get a new perspective. So all of the resources that they're exploring right now are online. There are websites, there are interactive activities, there are articles, there are videos, and those all are available to them online right now. Uh, and that's what they're using to explore these topics. So we're trying to have this class emulate um, a college classroom and that this would feel like a student would be attending a class on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday would be work outside of class. So we have required attendance three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays we're free to um, like come and go as we please. We don't have to come to class, but we can if we want to. But I think, again, what's interesting is we currently have about 90% of the students in here right now, even though it's an optional attendance thing. They just come here anyway because it's a convenient place to work. I like this classroom a lot. It's really easy to focus and to get work done. Um, sometimes I go sit in the commons, but it's busy and noisy and just not as good. Trying to build a collaborative environment where students are talking to each other, working together, so I'm really pleased that they show up here on optional attendance days as well. All of our curriculum is online. They can work ahead of schedule or behind schedule as they wish. So this is our school to page, and so like here's our upcoming projects and stuff we need to get done. And then here's like all our um, folders which have like the projects we're doing, question sets we're doing to like review stuff, do tests. And then here's all his uh, like PowerPoints that we go over in class. And it's a very collegial atmosphere. Um, I get to walk and be among the kids and chat about how things are going. The projects are very open-ended and large in scope. And they've got, I think, a chance to think deeper and more intensely about what they're doing. <laughs>